Welcome back, Hunters! I'm the Survival of This, and we return Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate G-Rank Edition. So, the last couple of episodes were... Do, 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 trying to remember. Diablos first, the uh, double hunt of Bractios and Stygian Snogre. That was a rough one. And I think I'm going to close out the week with going after Brute Tyrex. And that way, I can have some time to try to get the Expedition exclusive monsters, or get quests for just them. As well as, I think the only monster we really have left now, like, if we do root Tigrex today, will be Black Gravios and Black Diablos, so things might line up to kind of just have those two tackled the same week, as they are kind of a bit of a weird pairing to fit up with one another, but we are fully loaded and prepped out for today's episode, so we'll just get right into a new hunt for Brute Tigrex. I think it's actually going to be a bit easier tackling Brute Tigrex than regular Tigrex is. Because although Brute does probably have the roars that'll be dangerous, it doesn't charge quite as often, or its charge isn't quite the same as regular Tigrex's. Of course, now it'll probably prove me wrong once we hop into this episode, but we'll see how things go, and hopefully it won't be too rough going after the Brute Tigrex. Oh, we're actually going to be in the dunes. I kind of expected it to Heaven's Mount again, but you know what? I think the runes has better areas to fight something like Brute Tigrex, so I'll take it. Although, it does depend on the area. Because this one would be atrocious to fight Brute Tigrex in. Especially with how, like, uh, the roars cover the area they do. Is he out here to start? Yes, he is. There he is, just walking along. See, we can spin him around and get this hunt underway. And we are still using the Modern Devil Blaster. This thing, it's just... It has the raw power of an endgame heavy bow gun. And, I mean, it went through Celtus Queen very quickly. Yeah, see, as long as he decides to do the roars more so than the regular charges, this probably won't be too bad of a hunt to deal with. Although, I do need to be a bit cautious still, because there is still the tendency that it will charge, but I don't know... I, I'm kind of wary about, like, uh, the Iceborne incarnation, where he has, like, the War Beam. I doubt 4 Ultimate Brute Tigrex has it, but still, just want to be cautious. Okay, what are you up to? Okay, straightforward charge. Yeah, so far, very easy to deal with. I don't want to let any of those attacks connect, though. Because with how a regular Tigrex is charges were damaging. Brute's roars are probably just as, if not even stronger. And nice to see the Conchus always get hit by the attacks instead of us. Okay, well... Good or bad sign is we're keeping him pretty well in his enraged stance. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I gotta be really careful of those charges, because they are devastating. Okay. 
Just mind our openings, we should be okay. I don't know why that one charge got me so good that, well, I shouldn't say good as damage-wise, but like, caught me so off guard that I connected. I'm not sure if it's because we were too close to the wall when, like, he did the turnaround or something, but really gotta mind it. Okay, well that we can make good use of. Oh, and he's calmed down again. Oh. Wait, what was he? So I got hit not even because he was trying to get me with the charge, but just because it was leaving the area. And of course, is going to the area that I also think is going to be the roughest for us. We'll see how we fare up there. Yeah, with how big he is, the charges are already problem on their own, and now you have to factor on the roars. That will take up even more room. Oh, case in point, he basically takes up like 90% of the corridor. I'm kind of hoping... I doubt he's going to be out of stamina anytime soon. But it would be nice if we can get him to that point. Nope, oh, there's the head broken and one of the arms. I guess wings are... I hate those charges! Yeah, like whoever came up with the idea of this is a good Monster Hunter map area. I want to know what your justification for it was. Because no matter where you fight Tigrex in this area, you are fighting for space. And I'm going to go down here. Keep moving out of the way as much as possible. So much for it not being as... Oh! Okay, well at least it's moving out of this area pretty quick. I was going to say, I'm so much for it being not as charge happy as regular Tigrex is, but... Okay, it might... It could be going to eat, or it could just be enraged and changing areas. We'll have to see once we actually get into here. No, I think it's just enraged and moved areas. Although... It's... No, that's not low stamina yet. Although it might be getting close with how much it's been... Dang, the Absurds have a lot of hell considering, like, that one just took the full tail swipe. Okay. I don't know if the full, like, 360 will be as bad of an attack to get hit by, but still don't like being too close to this guy. Uh, 
Okay, now it's just us for the moment. Because both the cats are down. Okay, good news is though, yeah, there's the low stamina. Now, probably if I could get a mount here would be the best time to. But I still feel like trying to mount Tigrex would be a dangerous task. Although, depending on where he positions himself with, like, these failed charges, yeah, like, there. I might actually be able to get him. There we go. Okay, this should be very easy to get. Never mind, got a brace first. I thought with him low stamina, it'd be easy to get the mount right off, but has a little bit of energy in his tank. There we are. And we can get some pure straight down the middle of them. Okay, yeah, so that's him enraged again. Not going anywhere as fast as uh, the Desert Celtus Queen or the Celtus Queen fights. At least, or maybe it is, and it's just because there's so much more action pack than, like, just having the shooting bags those two were. Oh, crap. Okay, gotta be careful about the edges because of... You dumb Apsaros really do not know when to leave an area. Although flinches are going off very frequently. Oh, that's what we like to see. Yeah, it doesn't seem like Brute Tigrex gets any new moves, but the speed increase can be pretty devastating. So I think he's going down here. Yeah, he's landing right in front of us. Now, I wonder, if he does a roar right beside a Cephalos, would that knock it out of the ground, or because it's like a damaging roar, would it just like be unfazed? Nope. Okay, I can tell he's really low, because that instantly sent him right back into... Oh, speaking of you little annoying devils. Oh. Come on. Doesn't need a lot more to go down. But there's still plenty of room for those heavy hits to gum out. <laughs> oh yeah, so his roars will knock the Cephalos out of the sand. There we go. Yeah, quite a bit more action to this hunt than uh some of the other ones, but I do think I had an easier time with this Tigrex than uh, the normal one, just because a lot of the roars don't carry all the way through. They'll stop and he does the basically blast roar. I don't know what Molten Tigrex would be like, but maybe with its... Oh, but see, with it being slower, it also has a lot more size. We'll have to cross that bridge when we get to it later in G rank. But there we go, Brute Tigrex taking him down. We'll go preview the gear after, see what upgrades we might have available and whatnot, but how do we do time-wise? Not bad, under 15 minutes for running around and getting chased by so much of it. But yeah, Mono Devil Blaster, I am so thankful that I tried and got this gun. It just does so well.
I think if I can get some of the Conqueror seals soon or whenever for uh, the Stragios upgrade, though, that one might start out, might start rivaling this one. But yeah, there's a lot of good pieces there. Ooh, another large Wyvern gem. And what did we get? Eh, not really that good. I'll just sell it. Okay. And I'm not sure what key quests I'm still missing. I think Black Diablos might be the last key quest for, like, uh, this rank. Then we're into the final level of these rank quests. I'll just have to do a quick check and ask and see here. Yeah, because... I can't see Brachidios or Stygian Zenogre being needed with how they were in the double one. Uh, Black Gravios might be one that needs to be done, but again, we'll tackle that and Black Diablos next week. So, we are good for this episode. We just gotta go take a look at the gear, and yeah, in my own time, I'll try to get some of the expedition-only monsters. So that way we can get those squeezed into the series, too. There's just so much to cover for 4 Ultimate content-wise, and Sunbreak is almost out, too. Okay, armor, do, 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 do. where do... Okay, there we go. Yeah, see, I gotta admit, I... I feel like if the blue was a little more bold on the Tigrex, it would look better. And then Brute Tigrex, it just kind of all blends in together too much for, like, color scheme-wise. I don't really like it. What's it got skills? Hearing, perception, eating. Hearing, perception, eating, with sharpener decrease. Not... I mean... I can see hearing coming in handy for certain monster fights for sure. I think Black Diablos actually might be one. I'll have to see how it goes. But yeah, nothing really stands out much there as, oh, that's going to be really, really good to have. So probably won't worry about making that. And I... Oh? No, just the Diablos bow. Let's just look and see if anything else. I don't really think so. As for upgrades, there is... Yeah, the Accursed Bellow needs a few more Brute Tigrex parts, so then we'd have that. But I think the bigger focus for, like, a Tigrex heavy bowgun has to be the Grave Cannon. And that one, I need two Hard Fangs and the Mantle. Oh, that would be hard to farm for, given how just devastating Tigrex's charges are. But it's definitely a great, uh, normal run heavy bowgun. And I'll have to see about that. And then I don't... I think I'd have to make the yeah, I'd have to make the tank and then see what other upgrades go along from that. But I think we are good to end this episode of Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate right here. Thank you guys for joining me on this episode of the series. If you did like the video, you should give a like, and if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, you should in the comments right down below. And until I see you in the next video, hunters and survivors, please remember, as always, to take care, stay alive, and happy hunting.